You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and here for a return visit today is Athena Lavoie. Welcome, Athena. Thank you, Mark. Always a pleasure to work with you and all the wonderful things that you guys do over at the Metro South Chamber. Yeah, thanks for having me back. So we're talking about probably one of, if not the favorite event of the year, the Taste of Metro South. Yes, it's definitely a, a fan favorite between our members and members of the community and myself. It's definitely one of my favorites too. <laughs> so it's the traditional day. It's a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Date? Wednesday, March 23rd mm -hmm. at the Shaw Center. Mm -hmm. And the event runs from 5.30 to 8 o'clock at night. And get there because if you wait too long, you're going to be in line. Yes, okay. the line does form uh, well before 5.30. Um, usually about 5 o'clock, we have people starting to get in line. So you're welcome to come early and wait if you'd like, or if you wanted to show up a bit later and miss the line and miss some of the crowds. It's, you know, it's a pretty long event, so you have the opportunity to come when you're available. But you got to get there so you can get it, like the chocolate fountain and the Greek salad. And yes. It's like, you know, just don't bother me at lunch. Maybe you don't even no. eat breakfast. Right. It's a, yeah, it's a full day's worth of food all in one night. Um, but, you know, we're really excited to be able to have some of those favorites, like you said, back. And then also some new restaurants. So um, even if there are, are some things that you've tasted before, for sure you're going to have some that you haven't. Well, we are proud of students. Brock, you know, a lot of times Brockton High Culinary, Southeastern Culinary. Yes. And Southeastern now has adults that are doing the evening, the Technical Institute, that are there. We get to go, before our school committee meetings, I'm on the school committee, we get a dinner. We have to pay for it, but we get a dinner, and then we go to the school committee meeting and we want to take a nap. <laughs> right. Because we eat so much food. If I worked, if I actually worked at the school, I think I'd be about 500 pounds, because I would eat. These kids make incredible culinary things, and they end up going out and working in all of these restaurants that are in the community. The school preps them for business. Yeah. You know, they do the business side and the culinary side. Um, now, there's a few restaurants, not many, because I seem to, like, know all of them. Right. <laughs> okay. In the, in the greater Brockton area. But who's coming back? Who, are the, who, who do you have at? So we have uh, a lot of restaurants returning. We have JJ's Cafe, which was definitely a favorite from last year. Mm -hmm. We have Elvira's Cafe, uh, which did the taste for the first time last year, and they are returning, so we're happy to have them back. Um, we also have uh, La Odessa, uh, which is a Middle Eastern restaurant, returning uh, as well for their second year. Um, and then we have some other favorites like Stone Forge Grill. Um, we have Peppercorns Cafe and Catering uh, in Stoughton coming in this year. Um, they're a member of the chamber, and so we're happy to have them. And then uh, Prisco's Market, I know has done it in past years, and they're mm -hmm. coming back. Um, I think they're going to be doing some of their meatballs and some ice cream. So sampling a lot of different things from you know, returning restaurants and new ones. And places like Petty's Market. Petty's Market will be doing their sausage that they're sausage famous for. sausage samplers, right? Yes. I okay. believe the Italian sausage and their Chinese sausage, so... I just tried the Chinese sausage last year. I did not know how good that was. It's really, yeah, it's it, really it good. It really is. And uh, the the one you're talking about, La Odessa Easton, I haven't tried that yet, so I'm going to have to try it. I know they were there last year, but they we, were. we actually work that night. Yeah. Believe it or not, we do. <laughs> we Everybody do. <laughs> here fights about going to that event. Yeah. And even if they're not working, they want to work. So we kind of like don't open the studio that night and we go over there. And then we do fun things because we have... Jay, who likes to be crazy, mm -hmm. so he comes up with some kind of gimmick. We can time lapse things and make yeah. it slow it up and speed it down because it's crowded. I mean, when you go in there, there isn't a square foot. It is wow. crowded, but you know we have enough restaurants participating that you know you're not waiting in one line for you know a restaurant. You're a There's tent always too, right? There's um, depending on the weather and depending on how many well, restaurants sign up, we might. Twenty third of March. Twenty third of March. Better have good weather. You this just is, this never has know. Been a weird winter with, you know, it's it's below freezing one day and then it's 55 right. the next day. It's cr absolutely crazy. Yeah. As long as it's not like last winter, who cares? Exactly, that's true. Because that, that, that's all I care about. Well. So um, in order for people to participate, do you have room for more restaurants to We do have room for more restaurants, yep. Okay. It is uh, limited space and we do have a lot that are signed up, but there is still room. Um, the restaurants can just contact me directly. Mm -hmm. um, and so they can call 508-586. 0500 zero, zero, and mm -hmm. ask for Athena okay. um, and I'd be happy to help them uh, get signed up. For restaurants to participate there's no fee mm -hmm. so whether they're a, me a member of the chamber or not they're able to come um, you know get some exposure have people taste their food 
Uh, and the only real cost to them is the food that they're sampling. We provide oh. all the paper goods and everything else that they'll need. If they oh, need I didn't know that. I thought you absolutely had to be a chamber member. No, nope. not for this event. Charged a fee, and that, I think that's great. Yeah, this event is all about supporting um, the local restaurants in the region. Um, you know, obviously we, we love our chamber members, and uh, you know we want to support them, but we want to support everybody. Um, and again, you don't have to be in Brockton; just be within our region, um, and we'd love to have you, whether you've done the event before or not. Now, I also know in past years that some of the different nonprofit groups yes. and civic organizations also participated. Yeah. Can you tell us some? I, I know Symphony has in the past. Yep, okay. um, and they'll be playing uh, in the beginning of the event as well, Brockton Symphony Orchestra. This event is, it is about food and it is about the restaurants, but it's also about the community. So getting mm -hmm. sort of a taste for the music and a taste for the um, community organizations and different things that are going around in the Metro South region. Um, so nonprofits, different chamber members and businesses are able to purchase a table um, for their uh, you know promotional purposes if they want to do that we do have a uh, limited space available for those uh, organizations so they can contact me as well okay perfect so um, what haven't we talked about um, the music we have some of the fan favorites as far as music goes uh, which would be Brockton High School's jazz band mm -hmm. they will be returning um, as well as Cardinal Spellman's acapella group which we had last year they'll be returning as well and Rob Peters our DJ will be emceeing the event um, we also expect Dave Andelman from Phantom Gourmet to come to the event um, and you know maybe he'll get on the mic with Rob Peters, I don't know, but he'll definitely be going around and saying hi to all the restaurants that are there and supporting them. Oh, Rob will get him involved. I'm he sure he will. Get some engaged here <laughs> involved. Now, Phantom Gourmet recently, you were talking about JJ's earlier. Mm -hmm. There's an episode coming up. I don't want to I date heard. the show too much, but I uh, heard. For anybody that needs to know, JJ's is a great community restaurant. It's yeah. a family success story. It's become a na neighborhood gathering place. I love the local, local restaurant. You can go to all the chains you want, but it's that that's their life right. at the restaurant. So uh, we're looking forward in the folks. They're just nicest people. Same with Alvarez. You know, yep. you go, again, I would weigh a lot more if I visited that place <laughs> every day, that raspberry cookie, shortbread cookie or whatever it is. And it's like, oh, I Diabetics shouldn't have that. They're, this is like I, I, I have to save up all my sugar for that particular day. For They're this right event. down the street from our office. It's hard to not go and get a nice coffee every day. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So um, if you want more information, uh, call Athena at the chamber, 508-586-0500. Ask for Athena Lavoie. Um, you can go on the website, which is Metro South taste.com ta for taste tickets taste.com not metro the, all the information oh, so the website is both it's all the information about the event and you can get the tickets there exactly too. yeah it's easy okay. to get tickets at metro south taste.com because you um, can do it through paypal so it's nice and easy there you go so you don't have to have the cash at the door right. as well so uh, make sure that you visit the taste of metro south um, on wednesday the 23rd of march from 5 30 to 8 over at the shaw center and thank you for watching Greater Brockton. My name is Mark Lindy. I'm your host, and we bring you all the events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.